Marcus, how we doing? Doing all right. You guys built this offense. You designed it around Matt, yes. about winning from the pocket, timing and spacing, particularly in the middle of the field. What does this week look like in terms of changing that to meet what Sam can and can't do? And how do how much do you expect to be different? Um, I mean, we're still running our offense. Um, you know, the beauty is that Sam has been here for two years, so he's kind of seen both sides of it. Um, you know, one with, you know, with Karsten in it and then one with Matt in it. So um, he has a lot of not uh, at least two year and a half, I'd say, a knowledge of our system and how it could vary and how, you know, the different nuances of it. Um, yes, it's going to be different. It's not the same. You know, you know, Matt and um, Sam are two di different types of quarterbacks. Um, but for the most part, it's not going to change too much for the skill guys and our O line up front. You know, we'll have some nuances that put Sam in good positions to, you know, to succeed, make plays, and, um, you know, maybe a little bit more, you know, naked game and um, get him outside the pocket in, in that, that aspect, you know, hopefully get the, you know, the run game rolling. So, um, it's going to vary a little bit. Nate Atkins. Obviously, when you make a change like this, you're going from a super experienced quarterback to a guy who who hasn't yet played yet. But do, do you feel like there's some, you know, some advantage to maybe the unknown element of that? Is it excite you to sort of? I think we lost Nate. So we'll uh, come back to you here. Uh, Stephen Holder, go ahead. Hey, Marcus. Um, hey, with with Sam, let me see if I can word this right. He's played almost exclusively in the preseason. Obviously, you take a different, a very different approach there. How much can you extrapolate um, just, you know, his strengths, his limitations, et cetera, from what you saw then versus what, you know, you're going to face in the regular season? Is that hard to do or have you uh, seen well, him practice? Well, obviously, it's different. You know, he's playing in, you know, a little higher competition now, obviously, from going playing in the preseason to – you know, playing, you know, their guys now, you know, the, the ones out there. Um, but I, I think Sam is up to the challenge, you know, uh, what we've seen in Sam the last two years, we've seen him grow. Uh, we do know um, what he can do, what he does well, um, and what to stay away away from. I, I think what Sam does a great job, he understands who he is. So like, even within the plan each week under Matt, you know, he gets with Scott Milanovic and goes highlights. Okay, these are the plays. If I have to go in, these are the plays that I, I feel very comfortable with. So we kind of know his style and what he likes. And, you know, it's kind of us collaborating and putting him in those situations to, you know, to have success. And and just one quick follow-up. Uh, I mean, you already said, I mean, he is a different kind of quarterback, clearly. Uh, Matt would be the first to tell us that he's not mobile. <laughs> uh, Sam is just I think today's game just I, even though Matt has far more experience and other advantages just what can that mobility bring for you guys do you think well I think you see it across the league um with the amount of quarterback sets um you know it can extend plays um create plays down the field by making the plays develop a little bit longer making it longer for the DBs have to cover receivers um maybe pick up a couple first downs on third down when things aren't there or the protection does break down that you can make a guy miss, and now the deep defenders got their backs turned, and you go get to pick up the first down. So you know you're hoping some of that is added um, with the fact of Sam being out there, and and just hopefully he's just going to continue to be able to move the chains. Nate Atkins. Yeah, sorry about that. Lost a little bit of connection, but uh, I was just kind of curious about the the kind of the element of the unknown when you have a quarterback who is so different, hasn't played before, defenses haven't seen him. I mean, is there some advantage that you can kind of create there as the guy putting the game plan together? Um, I, you could say so, yes. Um, they haven't seen him live in a, in a regular season game, but I mean, there is some film on him. Um, I'm sure they'll do their due diligence. You know, they're professionals. Uh, I understand that great coaching staff that's going to do their research, um, whether it's some college or um, even the preseason games from this year um, or last year. So, uh, but as far as the element of surprise, I mean, I mean, they got to feel like we could do something different offensively, but that's about it. That's all our let out and just we'll play it on Sunday. Joel Erickson. Hey, Marcus. Um, typically with a younger quarterback, you try to kind of get the ball out of his hands quickly and get him some short throws, but the way you guys have been playing, it felt like Tennessee was jumping up on that. Do you guys need to push the ball down the field? Um, well, we definitely would like to just have that balance um, of the quick throws, get it out, but 
also have the ability to push the ball down the field because we got guys that could go up and make some plays. Um, so, you know, we talked about that as a staff. Like, we want to give those guys the opportunities if it presents itself. You know, we don't want to force it down the field. We want to um, take, you know, what the defense has given us um, and then kind of go from there. Were, were there were there more opportunities to go down the field on Sunday? I think there were probably well, a few, yeah. Uh, I mean, we had some dialed up. Um, fortunately, just, you know, the ball didn't, didn't get there. Um, but we did have some dialed up. So a few more here, JJ. Marcus, how instructive can that week last year that Sam prepared, like he was a starter, uh, you know, against the Raiders, how instructive can that be this week in just kind of knowing how he operates as the number one? Well, it probably helps him that he's been in the situation, didn't get to play that game because Carson still played, but he prepped, you know, Wednesday through Friday as the starter. Um, so he's kind of been in that routine. And then obviously this is a new year and he's kind of developed that routine even around Matt and maybe sure picked up some you know other ways to prepare as well um but you know you know i trust his preparation he i mean he's locked in knows a game plan in and out um again he there, i mean there's some parts of the offense that i feel like he knows a little bit more than matt just because he's been in in this system a, a second year um so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how you know he's able to kind of accelerate that that part of it james boyd yeah kind of going off that marcus um with Sam, obviously, he's been here for a while, but at the same time, how do you find that balance between maybe easing him into it? Because it is, you know, his first time, you know, I guess under the bright lights, you know, on the biggest stage. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's um, our responsibility as coaches to, you know, just continue putting him in positions where we feel comfortable knowing that he feels comfortable with, you know, what he's what's presented in front of him. We'll go two more, George Bremer. Marcus, Sam's been praised even by the veteran quarterbacks that came in here for his knowledge of the offense. I mean, I remember Brad Hundley last year coming in saying he was learning from him when, when Sam had only been here a few months. But is there still a challenge if, again, we don't know what you're going to do on Sunday, but if you go with the up-tempo scheme, is he versed well enough in the offense to run at that rate? I think he is. I mean, he he knows the offense. He knows the verbiage. He knows how to get in and out of plays. Um, rather quickly. So yes, he's he's ready to step right in there. We'll go last one here, Zach Kiefer. Marcus, this I mean, this is a big moment for him. And and this offense needs something because it's it's not working right now. What tells you that he's going to meet this moment? Well, his preparation. I mean, that's the biggest key to him. His uh his preparation. Um and just he he has that gamer mentality, you know, you felt it during the preseason. Um, seeing him make a vast improvement from last year to this year when he stepped on the field, just his confidence level, um, it, knowing his ability that he could go out and perform well. Yes, it's a new stage. It's, you know, the, the lights are going to be on now. Um, but he's the type of guy that you feel confident in that he's going to be ready to just go out there and give it his all. And uh, he's going to be well prepared. We're going to, you know, do what we can to um, prepare him, uh, you know, each and every day in every situation, talk through them all. Um, but I'm definitely excited and looking forward to. Um, seeing what he can do.